Hey folks, welcome to my first fighter showcase for FanPro Faniversary Fighters! Since this is also the first proper look into how the game itself plays, I'll be discussing new core features that were teased earlier as well. Please keep in mind, even for a demo state, this game is early in development, and many aspects of it will be changing over time. This first fighter showcase will focus on Miss Maribel, who you might remember having a full moveset from Rivals of Aether Workshop. My goal with her approach in this game was to keep as much of her core gameplay intact as I could, so fans of her existing moveset would have an easy time getting the hang of her here. First, let's go over the normal moves. Since this game uses only one attack button, I consider special moves to be either any neutral attack input, or using up and attack in the air. Every other directional input is a normal attack. Forward ground is her shield bash. It covers a lot of distance since she bursts forward with the move, and it's relatively strong. Upward ground is the triple tail smack. This is a great option for KOs, especially since it can catch airborne opponents easily with the first two hits. Downward ground is her tail ground slap. It's her best grounded poking tool, and still has that pesky spiking hitbox against aerial opponents. Forward aerial is her siren song. The final hit sends slightly more outwards than usual, but it's still a great option for catching opponents right by her. Downward aerial is the tail stomp. This powerful strike can of course spike offstage opponents, but using it for tech chase combos onstage isn't a bad idea either. Backward aerial is the electric eel. This is Maribel's most disjointed normal, and has a tipper at the eel's head. Now onto her special moves. Her main special is the shell, which works exactly like it does in Rivals. Using Maribel's normals, you can juggle the shell, keeping consistent stage pressure, and helping you with opportunistic combos. However, the opponent can hit the shell too, and it can even hurt you if you're in the way of the shell's new momentum. Of course, the shell's other main function in Rivals was that it interacted with Maribel's other special moves. Take her up special, for instance. While her bubble goes quite a distance, has good horizontal mobility, and can be cancelled for early mix-ups, that one little pop won't exactly strike fear in your opponents. However, by hitting the shell with this bubble, Maribel's recovery goes much higher, and turns into a multi-hit that's more than capable of scoring KOs. You might think we've exhausted the full moveset now, but Maribel has a special property where, in place of being able to toss multiple shells, she instead gains two entirely new special moves. On the ground, she can Surf, which pops both the opponent and yourself up for aerial follow-ups. Naturally, on hitting the shell instead, you'll fly a much further distance. As for aerial special, it's now her anchor. This move is slow and committal, but landing it will always lead to a great reward, be it an early offstage kill, excessive damage on the ground, or a shield break on conditioned opponents. Oh, that's right! I suppose this is a good segue to talk about the entirely new mechanics deviating from the Super Smash Land mods, being the new defensive mechanics. To list them out right now, FanPro Faniversary Fighters has shields, rolling, air dodging, wave dashing, and teching. While most of these mechanics act similarly to those familiar with Rifles of Aether already, the shield mechanics are relatively unique to this game. They have infinite health, but the player will be sent into a backwards momentum burst after shield stun. While experimental, this is inspired by defensive mechanics from traditional fighters, where defending is almost more about delaying the inevitable. A wise player should have the tools ready to take advantage of an overly defensive player, and every fighter will have an option specifically made to counter shields. Shields are also only protective on the front, meaning your back is totally vulnerable. While we're on the topic of new universal mechanics, there's also the addition of what is essentially dash dancing, which opens fighters up to a slew of new fundamental movement options that keep the game fast-paced. As an aside, another new feature added since the teaser was a proper HUD. Since the game's aesthetic resolution doesn't allow for much detail, I only put in what was definitely needed, but I still tried to give it its own stylistic twist. In upcoming showcases, I hope to show more new parts of the custom polish gradually being added to the game. Before we end this presentation, I'd like to make one special announcement. Com Project will continue having occasional themed batches as well. These are special batches where, to inspire creativity, we have a subject that can be focused on to thematically tie a set of submissions together. The first theme of Generation 5, starting right now, is Wizards. 
If you're feeling inspired, we'd love to see your original designs for fellows who love casting spells. Those involving shadows, money, and gangs are optional, but definitely welcome. I plan to have another showcase for this game out soon. Replacing most of the assets of the base engine for aesthetic consistency takes a lot of effort, but I'm hoping that once this hurdle is passed, it will become a lot easier to add and show more substantial additions with more frequency. Until the next showcase, I wish that you have fun. Goodbye!